everyone, welcome back to our series, Bloggers We Love. And today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make an amazing recipe. It's a seed and nut bread, and it's from a blog called My New Roots. Now this recipe has absolutely no flour in it. It's made entirely of seeds and nuts and a bit of oats. It's so delicious, it's nutrient dense, you're gonna really love it. Now the creative mind behind My New Roots is a woman named Sarah Britton. She's a holistic nutritionist and she has called this particular recipe her life-changing loaf and it really is that. It's a fabulous recipe and it's very easy. So what we need to do is start with a cup of sunflower seeds. That'll be 135 grams. Next we need half a cup or 90 grams of flax, half a cup, 65 grams of nuts, one and a half cups or 145 grams of rolled oats, and these are gluten-free rolled oats. We need two tablespoons chia seeds, four tablespoons psyllium husk, and one teaspoon of salt. Now that's all the dry ingredients. Give it a good stir. In Sarah's recipe, she calls for almonds or hazelnuts, and I've actually used cashew pieces and they work perfectly. If you have a nut allergy, you can simply replace the nuts with uh, something like pumpkin seeds and it'll work perfectly. Now for the wet ingredients, we need one tablespoon of honey, three tablespoons of melted coconut oil, and one and a half cups of water. All right, we give that a good mix. I know you're gonna think, how the heck is that gonna become bread? But it does, trust me. Now what we need to do is take a bread pan and I'm gonna cut, line this with parchment paper so that it can be easily removed from the pan. Uh, Sarah used a silicone pan, but I don't have one. So parchment line, baking pan will work just fine. Now we need to let this sit for a minimum of two hours, uh, preferably overnight, that works really well. And I'll show you what I did. Last night I mixed up a loaf here and let it sit overnight. And I'll just show you how uh, it should look. It will hold its form once it's sat for a while. Now we bake this loaf in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we pop it out of the pan and lay it top side down onto the rack in the oven, pull the paper off and bake it for another 30 to 40 minutes uh, until it's got a bit of a hollow sound to it. It's all done. Check that out. Make sure to allow it to completely cool before you slice it. Let's give this a try. This is nutrient dense, okay? It's a great, great food to eat. And it's perfect for packed lunches. The gluten-free uh, packed lunch is always a little bit sad. And so this will really uh, help perk things up. So thank you, Sarah, from My New Roots. This is a fabulous recipe. We love it. And you have joined the bloggers we love. So thanks so much. Bye.